is D the DGS Action News. My name is Marcus. My name is Cassidy. And today we'll be learning about how DGS is a very um, inclusive. inclusive and friendly um, school. Um, something that makes me feel included at DGS that is I have accommodations for my for my dyslexia and that makes me that helps me do the best in my class. Uh, for me personally, I think this school is incredible at uh, making people people feel welcome. For me, uh, within the first week of school, I really didn't have a ton of friends and I felt pretty lonely, but uh, I was able to find a group and me and them, they were the best, we're very good friends. Um, so let's learn more about the DGS and how it could be, or how it's an inclusive school. Cerebral Palsy Awareness Month means that everyone is different and no matter what people think, um, we're all, we're all different and it is okay to celebrate um, being different and what being and I I am grateful to be different than other people because it would be terrible to be the same as others and um, cerebral palsy it makes me unique and it celebrates what I am great at doing as a person and I would be, I would appreciate it if you guys would love to celebrate with me um, Cerebral Palsy Awareness Day on Saturday this week during spring break um, and to celebrate it you could wear green or Cerebral Palsy Awareness pin which I have a pin somewhere. Um, it means um just celebrating something important in people and just really making people more aware of um, something that could be hitting or could be um, very noticeable. And it's just a way that people live and I think people should be more aware of that and that's why the month is important to me. Um, cerebral palsy affects me in many ways. Um, for example, it affects my balance a lot and sometimes when I go up the stairs I get out of breath and my mom says that um, cerebral palsy people who have cerebral palsy run like a marathon more than normal people so all I ask for you guys is to just notice me when I'm in the hallways and just make sure that I that you don't try to trip me run in the hallways so last Friday, we had the privilege of celebrating our core value superstars, so students who exemplify the DGS values. Um, so just a very, very hearty congratulations to the following students who embody just what it means to be a DGS GOAT. Uh, congratulations to Lucas, Davian, Vivian, Claire, Lily, Jack, Liam, Nora, Demetrius, Des, Sadie, Calliope, Owen, Paolo, Vale, Cameron, Avery, Apollo, Eden, Isaiah, Al, Roland, Deshaylin, Jaleel, Jillian, Lila, Vivian, and Riley. And also of note, um, in the academic superstars, I forgot to honor one very important um, academic superstar, Quinn. Uh, sorry, Quinn, that I missed you last time, but thank you. So thank you to all our superstar winners for the last two weeks. You will all be rewarded by going to the Northfield shops for um, a lunch on us after we return from spring break. Thank you for working so hard and for being such amazing human beings. So for this week's teacher showcase, we are going to be talking about Mr. Case, one of our seventh grade math teachers. Um, we are actually really fortunate to have Will in front of kids because he has the brain and the skill set of an engineer. Um, and what's great about Will is he uses that skill set not only to put an engaging curriculum in front of students, but also to support his colleagues, um, whether it's 
fixing an ice machine at the nurse station or printing me 3D tags for our chargers for CMAS. Will is always um, quietly but consistently taking care of his colleagues and we just appreciate him very much. So enjoy learning more about Will Case. One reason, or one reason that I like about Mr. Case is that if we're like confused, he'll go over as a class and he'll like guide, he'll guide us through it and make sure that we're like ready to learn about it. Hi, I'm Clara Mortensen and I'm a seventh grader at DGS. And one, and a couple things that I like about Mr. Case is that he's always super sweet and he's really helpful in ILT and he is really good at answering questions and he's very good. I appreciate Mr. Case and working with him. Um, he's a great co-worker and always helping everybody. So thank you so much for being here for the kids and for the staff. Thank you, Mr. Case. Uh, so I enjoy teaching math because it presents us with a lot of unique and interesting challenges. Uh, and unlike some of the other subjects, we, we have a lot of different strategies and varieties for solving mathematical problems, which I just find unique and interesting, which is why I really love teaching math.